on the research front, we're working continually to better understand the actual physics, the science of uh, how severe thunderstorms become tornadic, what conditions make that happen. Another part of the problem, of course, is to be alert and aware and tracking these things and able to monitor them and generate the forecasts and warnings. For that, we're working very closely with our partners at NASA. We've got an important new satellite asset called GOES-R. This satellite will sit about 22,000 miles above the Earth. You'll be able to take a picture of the entire face of the Earth at once, see the entire country in a single view. When you have a severe thunderstorm mass developed, a big convective lump, one of the really important things to do is monitor the top of that where you can really see the, the symptoms, see the bubbles literally of the boiling thunderstorm masses in the atmosphere. Geostationary satellites are ideal for that. They can watch the entire country at once. When a big mass of convective activity gets developed, they can zoom in and scan that more rapidly. Having those satellite visible imagery, at least for myself, operationally in the field, is, is very important. In fact, I use it exclusively trying to find a thunderstorm initiation because boiling cumulus that's seen from space is the best sign of instability. So a GOES satellite gives us a heads up even before radar sees it. Very importantly, today's satellite that does that takes about 30 minutes to make one of those complete pictures. Our new satellite goes R will be able to take one of those pictures in five minutes. For forecasters on the professional desks, that'll be tremendously valuable, helping them track where are they moving, how fast are they moving, which ones do I need to scan more closely with radar, and watch for the conditions that tell me I should put out a tornado watch or warning. Really important for cueing, for triggering, for alerting both our forecasters and the communities that they serve. Unfortunately, it's not the case that one outbreak is a clue for exactly what's happening uh, next in a season or in any particular area. We do know we're heading towards the heart of tornado season for 2012, even if we can't know those specifics. So what that really tells all of us living in this country is pay attention, here comes the heavy season, uh, get your plan out, dust it off, make sure you're ready to take timely action if you've got severe storms in your area. Having a plan of action when, you're, when you hear a tornado warning, you know, practice with your family, take cover, know what to do, I think is the most important thing. This very summer in our central region, five of our forecast offices are experimenting with different ways of communicating, almost more like text message. Cut to the chase, tag something right away, tornado, tornado sighting on radar, tornado damage potential significant, that really signals more abruptly to people. This is important, get out of the way.